I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh, I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Hi there, thanks so much for clicking on the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can follow me on my journey. Um, yeah, and join the family. So, I am coming today uh, super early in the morning. Excuse my sleepy face, no makeup, I'm about to work out. But I'm coming to you all today to discuss uh, the follow-up. Um, well, or not, <laughs> no, the non-follow-up um, with my doctor. Um, because I had to reschedule. So, a um, couple things, couple things. Um, I do have my eggs out. They have not been through uh, genetic testing, I think it is, is what they call it. So, I'm gonna potentially lose some. So, I am gonna pull out more. Um, so, I'm gonna do a full in vitro process um, for the second time, just so you know, um, and pull out more. Um, for reasons mainly because um, of the different uh, the difference in sex we want, and then I'm not really quite sure that I'll be done after, um, because so when they when they in, inject you, I mean inject when they insert the embryos, um, you know there, there's a good chance that both of them won't stick to the uterus, so I could like have a, a chemical pregnancy with one or both of them, and then I would need to go back and and try again, so. Um, there is a potential to lose um, some of the embryos. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do it another round just to be safe, and then I'm. Uh, and also, the second thing is I'm not so sure that um, I'm gonna be done after the first one. I may want, you know, another one or more kids later on. So I just want to be sure, you know, that I do all that I can do um, while I'm at this age. So I um, wanted to get that out the way to kind of explain uh, what's going on because a lot of you I've been talking to, which is me running my mouth, and so now I have to go back and re-explain things, but I get it. That's, but that's part of the reason why I'm so evasive, you guys, and I really don't do a lot of talking and telling my business because, you know, I, I just don't like to have to go back and, you know, keep continue to fact check and everything. But it's cool. So next thing is the polyp. So I do have to undergo surgery. Um, since I'm not working, um, and it's not open enrollment in my husband's job, I did get on, um, independent health insurance. So I'm trying to, uh, the insurance that I do have, I really don't know what it is. I just got something, so I wouldn't be without. And, um, because I'm paying out of pocket, but I do want to see, um, if that insurance that I do carry, uh, covers anything, you know, that could relieve, um, some of the financial strain. So be it blood work, uh, follow up appointments, things like that, that can be handled. And that's like less money out of pocket I have to spend. So I did have to push my appointment back to April 13th. I was supposed to have it March 25th, but, um, they still hadn't verified and checked with my insurance. So I'm waiting on them to do that. And, um, Pushing it back to April 13th, which is cool. It, it's it's fine, no biggie, because we're not looking to uh, uh, do the in vitro until um, June, July, she said. So um, that's what's going on. Um, I am going to have the surgery. I'm going to, but I can still pull out my eggs prior to um, me having the surgery to remove the polyp. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way because that's a strenuous process. Also, I'll be showing you guys like my medications. Um, I've already seen my list. She has me on the follow stem. What that is, like an EpiPen. Sorry guys, hope that's the last time I have to stop. Those are my dogs at, at, like bumping against the door, uh, wrestling or whatever. But yeah, so I have the follow stem, um, which looks like an EpiPen. Um, it's some kind of refrigerated um, liquid, if you will, that you place in the pen. And I'll, and I'll show you guys all of this. That's the shot that I give myself in the stomach. Um, I have to take so many, um, I forgot what they call it. I feel like it was like I use or something like that, but um, it's, it's been a, a long time since I've been through through this. My first procedure, I believe, was back in like 2018 or something, so. Um, but I do remember like, you know, it was really easy, little poke, little prick, and that's a steroid to grow um, my eggs, so. 
they will um, look at me every other day um, with the, a vaginal um, sonogram to kind of check and see the progress of my eggs, if they're getting um, larger, how many I have, how many I, I don't have anymore. And so then they'll probably up my dosage or they'll probably take it down just depending on, you know, like what, how my body is responding to the medication. And so, um, yeah, I'll be on that every other day. And then um, once my eggs are uh, mature, they would give me, um, I forgot the name of this shot, but I believe it's like a HCG. It's a, some kind of shot in my back. Um, I can administer it at home, but I just go into my office and have them do it because I'm not good with doing things in my bag and I don't want to hit the wrong place. I want them responsible for it. So my uh, my particular office does offer uh, the shot in your back, uh, you know, through, through the office, you know, for free. I also have a nurse friend. My kid's best friend's mom is a nurse. So she administered my last one. Um, but I, I'll go to the office and, um, you know, have them have them administer the shot. That way I just don't have any, any problems. Um, and, it, and it's, you know, covered within, you know, the process. So I'm cool with that. Um, I see here. That would make me ovulate. That would make me basically release all of the, um, the eggs and uh, the next day. And then they'll have me go into an outpatient surgery in which they will um, extract the eggs um, from me. And then they will uh, join them with my husband's sperm and create embryos, more embryos. Um, right then and there, they're gonna go ahead and do the genetic test and they're gonna do everything they need to do so I know in fact how many embryos I do have and what the sex is. So we're gonna do that, the full process. And um, then I would remove the polyp, and then um, I would do uh, IVF. And we would go ahead and, um, not IVF, I would do the um, insemination where I uh, ultimately could become pregnant. So that's the plan. So yeah, and about my birthing plan, so um, I did see a comment about like maybe you know, you can't do two at once or whatever that was. I did want to address that just to let you know, because um, I don't think I properly articulated uh, myself. But yes, my doctor uh, is, has me on the plan to have two babies. This is what we're going to do so or try for. Um, doesn't mean it's going to work. It just means that that's um, where we're headed with this. Um that's the intent. Doesn't mean that, you know, it happens. I, I know that nine times out of ten, it doesn't. My doctor went through IVF with twins, so I'm confident in her. Um, I'm confident in her procedures. I've been working with her for a really long time. So last thing, how did I end up here? Whew, I'm going to try to make this a long story short. Yes, guys, I can naturally conceive children. <laughs> um which is unfortunate because a lot of people who are doing IVF um, can't, you know, they have issues. So they need a little assistance with, there are all kinds of things that go on with the female body. Um, what I will tell you is that what landed me here, oh, doggone Amber Alert, cut off my camera, I mean my phone. So what landed me here was basically my age. Um, I, 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 did, I was not in a position to want to have kids, so I really did family planning, if you will, because I didn't know how I would feel later in life. I was in my 20s, um, just trying to make a name for myself in my career. Um, my husband, since I've known him, has had a, demand, a very demanding job. Um, when we got married, we uh, got custody of his son. So I just was not sure if I wanted to have kids or not have kids, if that makes sense. So um, um, I decided to freeze my eggs. I decided that, you know, I have time, at, you know, and I want to pull them out while I'm young. That way I don't have that over 35 stigma that they say that African-American women have, whatever that is where the egg quality decreases after 35. I'm 36 now, uh, mind you. And um, so I, 
I went to my doctor, decided to pull them out. And so she advised me to get off of everything um, that I was taking. I was I was a vitamin freak back in that day. I was just trying to be so healthy. That's, you know, I, I was, you know, natural hair, natural, you know, I wasn't put using like products with chemicals in it. I was just in a weird phase in life. You know, people go through crazy phases or whatever. So, um I was uh, just trying to be as healthy as possible. I was working out really heavily. And I was like on all these different vitamins, you name it. I was on prenatals. I was on vitamin D. I was on vitamin B. Um, um, what was it called? Damn, dog. Like zinc, like anything, potassium. Like I had a whole lot of <laughs> vitamins. It was like nine of them, to be, to be honest with you, that I took a day. And um so my I was at my healthiest um, at that point, and um, while we were doing that, she pulled me off of all these things because she was gonna put me on the steroids, and she didn't know how that medicine, you know, would um, react to uh, my current uh, what's it called, my current regimen. She pulls me off of all of it and says that we're gonna, you know, get your body not so dependent on the vitamins to see what it does itself, you know. And then how it reacts to the steroids were in that process. I was pregnant and didn't know. And um, me pulling myself off of all of these like uh, vitamins and everything, it made my progesterone level drop severely low. And I started to bleed. Um, and which I thought uh, was an early period. So I went to my doctor, um, my main doctor, not my fertility doctor. I went to my my uh, primary care doctor and I told her my period came on two weeks early. Um, I'm just trying to see what happened to me. Like, and you know, they ran some tests and found out I was in fact pregnant and just didn't know, but my levels were dropping. So I was gonna miscarry. Um, we tried to save the pregnancy. Um, my doctor did, uh, I went to see my fertility doctor, let her know, because I was so angry at her. I'm like, why would you do this? But, you know, just that we didn't know. I was in a consultation, you know, just a consultation. We didn't know. We didn't run any tests. We just did, you know, verbally <laughs> mapping out what, what we thought we were going to do. And so um, they tried to inject me with progesterone. Um no, they gave me these tablets, I'm sorry, that I had to insert in my vagina like every day to like kind of make my level start going up. But by then I was just too far gone. I mean, it just wasn't a pregnancy we were going to say. So I had to make the decision to do either a DNC, which is where they um, clean you out or to miscarry naturally. I was scared to go to sleep and let them do all of that. <laughs> So um, I opted to miscarry naturally, which now in hindsight, I would not have done because that miscarriage was painful. It was very painful. It was emotional. Um, I went through a lot because I just didn't know that you had to basically contract and something had to come out of you. Um, I do not remember how far along I was, you guys. This was so long ago, and I, you know, I had some emotions there, and I had to pack it away. So forgive me um, if I cannot answer like factual questions about how many weeks were you, and you know, I had to tuck that away because it was a lot. Like it was a lot, and so um, forgive me if I'm just unable to to respond uh, properly. Um, to what you need to know. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys some kind of background on like how did I end up here. But yeah, so um, that's when I said, okay, I need to be sure um, I'm not um, active when I'm ovulating because I'm already going through the process of wanting to pull out my eggs. So then I began to track um, my period and uh, my ovulation time so I could avoid um, falling pregnant you know, until I was ready, until I was ready, because I ultimately wanted to freeze my eggs. So that's how I ended up here. That's how I'm ending up taking another round of in vitro. It's just a just in case we're already here. May as well do get get some more while I can. Um, yeah. So um, today is March 29th. 
So um, April 13th will be my, my follow-up appointment. I do have to go do some blood work. She said one of my levels were off and um, that didn't really have anything to do with anything, but she just wanted to be sure, you know, everything was, you know, looking good on paper. So it's not going to mess up in vitro, but she did want to correct it, you know, just for my health, my overall health. So um, I got to figure out what that is um, in my follow-up appointment. And I am going to uh, record uh, our Zoom um, I follow up Zoom so you guys can see that on the 13th. Um, that'll be about that'll be about two weeks from now. So two weeks from now um, will be when I jump on here and um, let you guys see the follow up appointment. But I may also before then just go in there and do that whatever that blood work is. She wanted me to fast and do some more blood work, and they're gonna find out my level. She said something was off, but it's it's, it's not gonna affect in vitro ultimately if that makes sense. So yeah, um, I'm, I was very, very discouraged, y'all, when I did the last appointment and she found that polyp because I know that I'm out of pocket. A lot of insurances don't cover fertility treatments. Um, you know, um, it's, it's just crazy out there. It, 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 I don't want to get into that, the whole political <laughs> or the whole system aspect of everything, but um these this medicine is like seven to ten thousand dollars um you know depending on well no, sorry seven hundred to a thousand dollars for just medicine alone i have to get anesthesia which is like three grand you know procedure which is like five six grand to uh extract it so like all of this is like a money pit <laughs> basically but i do want to be sure that i don't have what happened last time my hormone level makes me ultimately have to miscarry i just don't if i could go about it a way where i can kind of monitor things and you know have an aid there to help me get healthy babies in a healthy pregnancy that's the decision i wanted to make so um, that's the route I'm going to take. Um, it's just to be safe. So yes, I'm being safe. Um, but yeah, um, just be careful with your questioning. Um, uh, my friends, especially in the comments, or I'll try to talk to you guys like outside of this because there are going to be a lot of women, you know, that come through here that, are having issues conceiving and so you know you don't want to trigger these women you don't want to make it like oh it's so easy why are you doing this and you can't you know just don't please don't because some women really can't and they carry like a burden which leads me to my last and final point and then i'll let you guys go um there needs to not be a, a stigma on fertility issues because once I got on this journey, I did not find out, I didn't know, I mean, how many women are having issues conceiving and how many women are not speaking about it. Um, I feel like the stigma is there because of the ignorance, the public ignorance that most people have because they think you can just lay up, have sex and get pregnant. But a lot of women are finding out that it's not that easy. And so many people that are close to me in my life are are having trouble conceiving, have had trouble, have had trouble conceiving, and have been um, through IVF successfully multiple times, and they're not talking about it for whatever reason, and that's their right. So I'm trying to make it normal. I'm trying to normalize and let you see the struggle that people go through to bring children into this world, or the struggle that people go through to expand their family. So a lot of people don't have that blessing that most women do have to, you know, just naturally conceive and go on to have, you know, multiple healthy, happy pregnancies. There are so many things that go on within the female body. The one wrong thing, you know, your body just doesn't produce this or, you know, or your ovaries just don't do that. And, you know, we just take, don't take for granted 
um, your ability to um, produce naturally um, and just try your best um, to avoid questions. Just just make sure you're mindful that people that stop by here are having um, issues and they're looking for someone that's going through the same thing and they're looking for um, like a buddy, somebody to let them know that they're not alone, someone that's suffering through the same thing that they are suffering through. So just be mindful, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, I will see you guys on the 13th on my follow-up appointment. I hope I asked, um, asked I hope I answered um, all of you guys' questions with respect to like what I'm doing, how I got here, and um, why I'm probably not going to be responding to some questions. And um, you can ask me anything in private, though. I'm an open book. Um, you can ask me anything in private. You can um, email me. I'm going to link my email in the description box if you want me to go into depth or detail or you want to talk to me, um, you know, off of social media. That's fine. Um, I will definitely link my email down in the, in the description box. Um, but I'm going to show you guys as much as I can, like, <laughs> start to finish how this thing goes. Um and I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping to just normalize like infertility, um, even if, you know, that's not my actual story. Um, I'm hoping just to normalize and give other women, you know, confidence and strength, like to come out, you know, and just just really because that, that needs to that needs to leave the room ultimately. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the 13th. Bye.